Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Psychology course. Today we're going to be looking at a failure to function adequately which can result in abnormal behaviour. The failure to function adequately. To fail to function adequately defines as someone who engages in behaviours which are maladaptive and therefore not good for you. People who fail to function adequately have abnormal behaviours because they're failing to act normally. For example, Anorexic people are going to hurt themselves when they do resist the urge to eat because of their disease and as a result this isn't function adequately because the behaviour in which they're engaging in to want, not wanting to eat at all is maladaptive and not good for them. If you are failing to function adequately you can measure the extent to which um, you are failing to do so on something called the GAF scale. The GAF scale. This stands for the Global Assessment Functioning Scale, and it measures the changings in one's adequate functioning levels. The individual who wants to complete the GAF scale has to do a questionnaire where he or she has their level of functioning assessed in terms of family, friends, work, etc. They have to answer some questions and then they are scored out of 100 on how maladaptive their behaviours are, 100 being not maladaptive at all and 0 being absolutely maladaptive. These previous scores are compared to the next time in which the participant is going to complete the questionnaire in the future. You then have to subtract the previous results from the current ones, and if this gives you a negative score, you are failing to function adequately. So, for example, if you're, you complete the GAF scale the first time round and you score 80, however, in the second time round you complete the GAF score, and, this gives, and then you get a score of 50, you have to subtract 80 to 50, which will give you a score of minus 30. This will mean that you're beginning to f uh, fail to function adequately, and as a result, you are turning abnormal. Now we're going to look at the limitations of failing to function adequately. Adequacy depends on the culture in which you're in. Cultural differences are going to define what it is to function adequately. For example, in the UK, Feelings are not often expressed generally with that much attention, however they may be in other countries. Now this is a generalisation, not a stereotype of the UK, but generally people who do um, are expressing their feelings don't do it in such an over-the-top manner as it may be done in some other countries. And that's just an example of how uh, adequacy depends on how really the culture is going to define you to want to express yourself. In other cultures, if you do keep your feelings in, perhaps, that's not going to be seen as adequate. However, in the UK, it may be. Also, abnormal behaviours are not always maladaptive. It may not be maladaptive to commit an abnormal behaviour in certain instances. For example, killing is absolutely a maladaptive behaviour. If you kill someone, that is maladaptive because that is not good for you, not good for everyone else involved with your life or the person you've killed, and of course not good for the person you've killed. However, if there is an instance where a soldier must kill someone in a war, some people may say that that's still maladaptive. However, in the instance it's not seen as maladaptive and a failure to function adequately as it may be because they've been instructed to do so and that's their job. Now, killing is in no way right at all. However, in this instance it's not completely failing to function adequately if in fact you do so, due to the circumstances of your job. Also, a failure to function adequately depends on value judgments. In order to be defined as functioning inadequately, you have to make a value judgment on your own behaviours. When you're completing the questionnaire, you're going to have to judge yourself on how well you're doing with your family, your work or your friends, and this could actually uh, mess with the accuracy of the questionnaire. Someone who's abnormal may consider themselves as normal and vice versa. You may be actually completely abnormal with your friends and family, however you think that behaviour is normal and therefore you can't class yourself as it failing to function inadequately. Here are some questions on the failure to function adequately. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video and then hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the final model which aims to explain abnormality, and these will be deviations from ideal mental health. As always, visit the channel or the playlist on this psychology topic, or you can visit the website at revisealevel.co.uk for more information. Good luck in your exams, and I'll see you next time.